Welcome to the rocket profile of the Saturn V, the rocket that first launched humans to the moon. The first stage ignited 6 seconds before launch and consisted of 5 F1 engines, the most powerful single chamber liquid fuel engines ever lit, producing 7,700 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust in its most developed form. The F1 engine had combustion instability issues early in its development and to get so much thrust from a single chamber, some efficiency had to be sacrificed. So the F1 had a fairly low specific impulse for a kerosene and liquid oxygen burning engine, gaining only 263 seconds at sea level and 304 in vacuum. This first stage is known as the S1C. It has a diameter of 10.1 meters and a normal duration of 2 minutes and 45 seconds. The center F1 engine on the stage was shut down partway into flight to limit G-forces on the crew to under 4 Gs. The trajectory for the stage is flatter than you might expect. It broke the sound barrier with the nose just about 60 degrees above the horizon. By first stage separation, it was around 30 degrees. And it was traveling with respect to the surface at about 2,300 meters per second. That still left the rocket needing about 5,000 meters per second to make orbit though, and that was provided by the S2 stage, powered by five J2 engines burning liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. There you see the skirt separation shortly after second stage ignition, and then the tower will separate, the launch escape tower, that would be used to rescue the crew capsule during the first stage, it was no longer necessary. Each J2 engine had 1,033 kilonewtons of vacuum thrust and had an ISP of 421 seconds. The stage time was 6 minutes with the center engine cutting out first and that in this case was to prevent pogo oscillations which plagued this stage causing two engines to shut down in Apollo 6 and then the center engine to shut down early in Apollo 13. So the decision was made to shut down the center engine early to prevent further oscillation issues. Apollo 6 was the only partial failure for the three stages of the Saturn V, as on that mission the payload was not placed in the correct orbit. The pogo oscillations from the S2 also damaged this stage, the S4B, with its single J2 engine, and it was unable to relight in order to boost the orbit to the desired location. Instead, the service module engine on the payload itself was used to uh, boost the orbit somewhat, but still not to where it was supposed to be. This J2 engine burns for 8 minutes and 20 seconds, but in two bursts. First, it completes the orbit for the rocket, and then the second burn is to transfer to the moon. The final mission for the Saturn V placed the Skylab space station into orbit, and in that case, the space station took the place of this third stage, and only the first two stages of the Saturn V were used. A lot more could be said about the Saturn V, of course, but I think this gives you a rough idea of its operations. So thank you for watching this rocket profile of the Saturn V.